SCP-1897. Item Number, SCP-1897 Object Class, Euclid Special Containment Procedures, Personnel stationed in the rural southwestern portions of the United States are to annually investigate any areas that meet the required criteria. If any manifestations of SCP-1897 appear, the area must be blocked off under the pretense of road work until the manifestation has been neutralized. Lethal force is authorized for use upon SCP-1897 to drive the creatures away. Survivors and witnesses are to be detained and interrogated, then given Class B amnestics upon release. Instances of SCP-18971 air to be incapacitated from concealed positions before any attack is mounted on SCP-1897. Recovered instances of SCP-18971 air to be given class A amnestics before they are relocated to Site-06 until a means of rehabilitating them is discovered. Embedded agents in all major internet service providers are to prevent any civilian access to SCP-18972. Any information taken from the website is to be archived in Storage Unit 4. If messages suspected to originate from SCP-18972 are received, Site Command is to be notified immediately. Description SCP-1897 are humanoids that manifest outside of rural areas in the states of New Mexico, Arizona, Texas, Oklahoma, Utah, and Nevada. Pictures taken of SCP-1897 and testimony from witnesses place these creatures at over 5 meters tall. According to witnesses, and confirmed in videos found on SCP-18972, these entities show great physical strength and speed, covering approximately 200 meters in under 9 seconds and lifting upwards of 500 kilograms in a single hand. When an instance of SCP-1897 would be killed or otherwise incapacitated, that entity immediately disappears and drops anything it was carrying. The creatures reportedly speak in standard American English with vernacular and accents appropriate to the region, but have not replied to humans attempting to communicate with them. A person will only encounter a manifestation of SCP-1897 if they meet these criteria. They are either alone or in a group of no more than two people. Point one, none of them appear to be carrying a weapon, such as a gun, a knife, or pepper spray. There are no major population centers within 25 tilde kilometers of their location. Witnesses of a manifestation report seeing the creatures materialize as though they were emerging from an unseen vehicle. Nearly all reported instances of SCP-1897 were described as wearing dark green uniforms, and either carrying long, thin poles with a large net on the end, or at least one 1.3 by 1.9 meter steel cage. The creatures use these devices to capture persons and put them in the cages, in most cases taking care not to cause physical harm to the victim. Upon the containment of most or all persons, both SCP-1897, the cages, and victims vanish in a manner similar to its original manifestation. All attempts to trace either SCP-1897 or its victims at this point have failed. After abduction, the victims become instances of SCP-18971. Instances of SCP-18971 may reappear at any time after approximately one month, though rarely in the same location as where they were abducted. These reemergences have been recorded to happen anywhere from 2 to roughly 2,000 kilometers from the site of their original abduction. They are always accompanied by at least one instance of SCP-1897, and rarely stray from the entity's side. SCP-1897-1 instances are often found to be castrated or otherwise sterile, and universally show decreased mental capabilities, about the same cognitive intelligence as the average Canis lupus familiaris, and heightened aggression. SCP-18971 will actively resist retrieval and attack any persons who show hostility towards SCP-1897. If separated, SCP-1897 will attempt to return to the location where it recently emerged from, regardless of distance or obstacles. The compulsions and behavior can be treated with amnestics, but the reduced intelligence is a result of a partial lobotomy of the prefrontal cortex and selective damage to Broca's area, neither of which can be repaired by non-anomalous means at this time.
Upon reaching the point of manifestation, they are taken by an instance of SCP-1897 within two minutes of arrival. SCP-18972 is a website located at the IP address information redacted or at the web address, www.hdsociety.gov. A banner across the front page declares the website is belonging to the Human Domestication Society in Standard American English. Its menu at the top has pages for adoption, training, reading programs, volunteering, and about, among others. To date, all efforts to initiate peaceful contact with SCP-1897, adopt an instance of SCP-18971 or exchange emails through SCP-18972 have met with no success. See Addendum to Addendum 1. The lower excerpts from selected pages on the website from the training page has your human been misbehaving. Need to train them to use the toilet. These pages have all the information you need to help your human become the most well-trained human on your block. Recent adopter advice includes major side effects to watch for during the first month. Obedience training, show them who's boss without the need for physical violence. With tips and tools necessary for the job. Tricks you can teach your human, toilet training, playing fetch, protecting your home and more. How to introduce your human to other humans. Humans naturally don't get along. But we can help you with that. Understanding what your human wants. Humans shouldn't talk, but that doesn't mean you can't understand them. Dealing with strays. For those that want to capture and break in their new pets with their own hands. Without overdoing it. The page contains a picture of an instance of SCP-189713 and an instance of SCP-1897 menacing it with a large Picana Electrica 4. SCP-1897 has a stern expression on its face, and SCP-18971 is shown to have tears in its eyes. From the adoption page we offer a large variety of humans for adoption every single day. While we cannot guarantee a human you see listed on our website will be available when you reach the shelter, our inventory is updated every half hour. We cannot answer any questions about specific humans pictured on our website over the phone or email. All humans have their vaccinations, sterilizations, microchips, and whether or not they have already been given a leukotomy included in the adoption fee. Can't find a human that suits you here. Check our listings of licensed human breeders in your area. The page shows an instance of SCP-189715 being held up by an instance of SCP-1897. SCP-1897 is smiling. SCP-18971 shows no expression. From the volunteering pages humans are in high demand, we're always looking for students and volunteers to join our team. Currently, over-redacted volunteers are involved in our programs. It's both fun and rewarding. Human Walker Behavior Trainer Some of our humans need time outside their kennels, especially the ones that are house trained. The scheduling is flexible, and the humans will love it. Human Care Specialist Volunteers help desensitize and train humans before they can be put up for adoption. Working with human cubs, as human cubs are always in high demand. They sometimes require extra special care before they can be put up for adoption. Specialized training, for seeing eye humans, hearing humans for the deaf, seizure response humans, and other such special cases. Learn how you can help humans help us. Note for applicants, please submit a short essay on why you'd like to volunteer at the HDS and what you hope to gain from the experience. The page contains a picture of an instance of SCP-189716 with its mouth contorted into a smile. From the events. Page panels that advocate human rights are not endorsed by the HDS or its affiliates at this time come to the Redacted Convention Center at Redacted for the annual All Breeds Human Show. From Redacted Human Sled Teens, to the Sheep Herding Humans of Redacted Sea Exotic Humans from all corners of the world under one roof. If that's not what you fancy, stick around for the human agility course competitions and the human races. Light refreshments and free balloons are available. Coming in June, say no to skin. A panel on how you can help prevent unauthorized human poaching and skinning addendum 2. On March date redacted site 06 received the following message from HD Society at information redacted. Subject. Enough received at 10.13 a.m. We will not listen to your lies any longer. It was you who came after us first. You who tore holes in our world and tried to annihilate us. 
Yuhu took our olive branch of peace and fashioned it into a spear. Yuhu nearly drove us to extinction. And now that we have the advantage, you attempt to patronize us with your crocodile tears. We will not be deceived again. But unlike you, we are not monsters. We have much anger towards your kind, but we are willing to forgive. But first, you must be willing to change. Slavery and genocide are immoral, and not even you deserve such a fate. It is our belief, then, that this alternative is a fair compromise between guaranteeing our safety and allowing your kind to live. This is our mercy to you. Look at the humans who have gone through our program. See how much happier they are. Your correspondence tells us that you have seen them. Seen how much they love us. Why, then, do you continue to be defiant? Someday you will thank us. Please try to understand that this is for your own good. Information Redacted Director of Human Resources No record of such a person named Redacted exists. The email was traced to the same IP address as the website, and thus a physical location cannot be discerned at this time. Further attempts at communication have yielded no results. Security at Site 06 has since been increased. SCP-1897